the question of the impact of radical Islam to young people really is an issue that's much greater than what the gathering on Capitol Hill, this hearing, was willing to address. Unfortunately, uh, the way in which it was uh, presented to the, the Islamic world was uh, very much focused on um, what I would call a quasi-witch hunt. Now, people can disagree with that point of view. I think what's important here is to understand how that gets played out in um, MENA, the Middle East and North Africa. When we have a hearing on Capitol Hill, do we ever think that the pictures that are taken of a congressman who's a Muslim in tears? His life should not be identified as just a member of an ethnic group or just a member of a religion. How does that play to 44 million people in Egypt who, who are living in a very difficult time? And, and how, what does it say about the way in which this country treats Muslims, especially if you've never been here before? We have to understand as a country that what we say and what we do is received instantaneously by a very, very large group of people who are underclassed and who are hungry. And quite frankly, those who would want to do us harm from across the sea understand that. And so it's sometimes not that difficult to, rec to recruit some young kid who's still trying to figure out who they are and what they're going to do, to say, America really is the great Satan. I mean, if I was in the Middle East and I was a dissatisfied young person or if I was somebody who wanted to do this country harm, I just had a welcome card to do it. That is scary.